Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and I'm going to walk you through how to get started with Unit 9 in our CSIT 125 Word class. On my screen, I've logged into Blackboard, and I clicked into the Unit page. So now I'm going to click Unit 9, Working Collaboratively and Integrating Applications. On the Overview page, it talks about collaborating and different parts of collaborating and what those things are. So please be sure to read here the brief explanations of what these elements are because uh, the textbook talks about it too and and uh, of course explains it and shows you how to do it but here it's kind of a summary and it gives you a, a sense of what it is you're looking at and working with before you even start reading the book. Uh, OLE is called it's just called OLE and it stands for Object Linking and Embedding and uh, it's an important part of using Word and it lets you integrate other objects from other files such as Excel or Access or PowerPoint or anything else that works with Word and that can be copied and pasted into a document. There's two different ways that you can do that. One is called linking and one is called embedding and they mean basically different things. So please be sure that you understand the difference between the two. The list of skills covered in this class uh, in this unit is here. So you're going to be working with the different features and tools involved with collaborating with another person on a single project document. Um, this works really well with people that are in the same office as you but also it can work with anybody anybody on the planet virtually so you can collaborate with someone across the country or in another country um, on one single document that's one of the really great boons and benefits of internet so this talks about that and gives you uh, some experience with that here at the bottom is the summary of unit 9 tasks you're going to read chapter 9 in the textbook and complete a project. It's very simple and basic. You don't have to do a discussion. You don't have to answer questions about a video, uh, mainly because this project is pretty involved and you should be working on it a good part of the week. There's also here in pink an extra credit opportunity. This is a large extra credit opportunity where you could earn up to 20 points of extra credit, but you do need to work with a partner a fellow student from our class. Of course this is optional. Um, it's a very small extra project you would do with your partner and you would be using some of the collaboration tools that you're learning about in this chapter. If you and your partner can get together uh, easily and quickly you can take care of this extra credit project very quickly um, pretty much inside of half an hour, I mean even less than that if you can work together at the same time. So I'm going to show you how you can do that and how to find a partner. So I'm going to go to the next page in Unit 9. Here is the detailed assignment instructions. Of course you're going to read Chapter 9. This is a video I made on how OLE works. Uh, the different aspects of it, so please watch that video. If you would like some additional help with a feature in Word called Tracking Changes, which is an important part of collaborating, then uh, please click here. This will take you to an outside website that offers some free information, and it's pretty clear and well illustrated, so I would recommend looking at that if you have any questions about tracking changes. The project itself is the independent project 9-5 in the textbook located on these pages. Page 576 through page 578 has the instructions, the steps on how to do that project. Basically it's an insurance renewal letter that's going to be sent out to several current clients by their one insurance company. This project does include doing a small mail merge. That's part of the project. So uh, you will need three different student data files for this project and for your convenience they are located here. And please remember that if you ever forget that these that these are here, you can always find all of the student data files online in SimNet if you click the library link which is located in the upper right 
corner of the SimNet page. You can then find all these files there. Please be careful. There's some advice here on what to do. Please also uh, look at this important note. When you complete this project, you're going to wind up with four individual Word files to turn in. Please be sure to upload all four files into Blackboard before you click the Submit button. Okay? If you're not sure about any of that, just let me know. Down here is the extra credit information. If you want to do the extra credit, you have to find a partner. And note here, both partners must do the work or neither one can earn the extra credit. So please be sure that you really want to do this before you join in and start doing it. Don't start it up and then, and then decide in the middle that you just don't want to do it anymore and drop your partner. It wouldn't be fair to your partner uh, to do that. So please be sure you want to do that. You can click right here to open a document that tells you exactly what to do for extra credit and how to find a partner. And finally, at the very bottom is the evaluation. Your project, the main project for Unit 9, is worth 50 points. And if you choose to do the extra credit project, that's an additional 20 points if you and your classmate can do it together. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top. And note that over here in this left-hand table of contents area, there are two different pages for turning in your work. The first one here, Turn in Unit 9 Project, that's where you go to turn in your main project. Take note that this semester the project is due uh, here, Thursday, November 16th. Please make sure you turn it in by then. And here is a separate link if you want to turn in the extra credit uh, project. Okay, this is where you would go to turn that in, and that is also due at the same time as the main project, November 16th. So please uh, don't pay any attention to this. I know it says points possible zero. It will always say that for extra credit projects so that the points you do earn will be recorded as extra credit and not as a requirement or an as a regular assignment. So please don't let that worry you. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to help.